Hey, fire signs. Welcome back to the sun room. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Aries, Leo, Sag. What's going on with you? Um, if you're in the spiritual journey, I am doing something called morning messages. And basically everybody is in the spiritual journey these days. So um, doing that. Fridays, we're going to be doing some live here on the channel, Friday at noon, just so you know. Also, if you are in the spiritual journey, I have something called the Empress Club, which uh, started out as mostly twin flame conversation, but now is expanding into what is going on on the planet right now, where are we going, what is happening with that. So if you want to engage in that, um, there you go. Also, if you are on the spiritual journey and you are transitioning into creating your livelihood with your spiritual gift, next Monday we're starting a class for that, Building Your Spiritual Business. It starts uh, April 13th. It's six weeks. So join on up if you want to. I'll teach you what I know about building a business and also building um, a YouTube following. All right. And things uh, with that are really changing right now. Okay, there's a lot of, every, every single thing is, up go, is undergoing a massive change. So Aries, Leo, Sag, you guys, definitely a lot of Aries energy in that air reading. I tried to do the tilt down with the air sign and I almost lost the camera. So <laughs> air signs, if you're cross watching here, I'll, I'll try to do better tomorrow. I think I kind of fixed it for the fire signs. So <laughs> I'll figure that out. But anyway, all right, clean it up, baby. There's a lot of energy of letting go right now, letting go and surrendering to a new path. Loyal heart. Go the distance. All right, my darlings. So um, what's going on here for you? I'm going to do a little channeling right now this minute. I feel like you're going to see people with a new sight through your heart. You're seeing people now anew. And it's going to be much easier as we move forward. It's going to be much easier to recognize the loyal heart, the right person for you. Wow, got big chills on that. It's gonna be much easier for you to do that because basically as we're moving the North Node collectively, we're moving from Cancer, which is more romantic and, and dreamy, um, into Gemini, which is like, I see the truth. Much more clarity, but it's seeing from your heart, not seeing from your old patterns, right? Those are the things that need to be purged, released. This new person that will come in, you can, you will be able, you won't be confused anymore by those old patterns. How about that? That's nice. You betcha. Ace of Wands here. I'm going to say this. Past life. And something is really ending here, okay? So moving into a new, but uh, for some of us, the, it may be a little bit of a painful transition, okay? So just so you know, mostly it's painful because holding on. That's why it's painful. King of Swords. Ah, yes, the air sign is here. Six of Swords. Nine of Wands. Nine of Cups. This was in the air sign reading too. Uh, Virgo energy in the middle here. Hermit really looking at your own, I'm going to say addictions, looking at your own things that need to be let go of, things that were indulgent, things, what did you want? It's almost like you're looking at your bucket list again going, really, is that what I want? Is that what I truly want? Like, for example, um, my goal, I'm a Sag, so I'm, we're just talking among friends here, right? Fire signs. Um, my goal has always been freedom, right? When that Knight of Wands comes up, that's Mary Jo, right? Freedom! And how you get that can be a lot of money or can be a lifestyle of letting go of everything and it being very, um, you know, sort of here, there and everywhere. I travel the world, you know, like what does freedom mean for you? And that's what I look at. But in terms of you, what is the true goal here? What is the, what is the happy thing, the happy place you want to get to? 
And how can you, you know, look through that, look through all the old ways of looking at things, old ways of doing things, the old ways of being. Looking through that and seeing that maybe what you maybe what you've asked for, let's say, I want to win the lottery. Is that really what you want? Or do you want freedom from uh, debt? Do you want um, to be able to do whatever you want, to be able to afford whatever you want? Or do you just want the uh, letting go of um, shackles of previous you always thought the only way to get there was X. Now there's some new things coming in here, okay? Yeah, Eight of Swords, mindsets, ideologies, belief systems need to be upended, and they are being upended in a big way right now, okay? Wow, you tower. That's what we're all going through right now. Not just fire signs, but everybody. Tower, Knight of Cups. Woo! All right, this soulmate, the new beginning, the soulmate is... Uh, a past life soulmate. So for some of you, this could be a twin flame connection coming in. I'm seeing Virgo or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a Virgo. Okay, I'm seeing that. So what is essentially going on here is that the air sign is moving away from their old mindsets, from their old baggage. They are doing that. They're moving away from that. If you have not been in alignment with this air sign, it's because they've been holding on to old ways of doing things and baggage. Those, those are the two things that come out really loudly. I want to try and communicate this more expansively. It's defensiveness. It's that it's like I it's a badge of honor of what I've been through. It's a, 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 a martyr mentality. It's a, um, a mindset of this is how it's got to be. This is how it must happen, right? When I said to you about winning the lottery, is that the only way to freedom? Really? Because most of us don't win the lottery. <laughs> most of us do not. So if you're like, that's what I just said, like kind of a wacky example of, uh, wacky example of, um, Believing that a certain path is the only way to happiness for you, right? Look at the look at what you're saying about what is happiness, what is joyful for you. Look at what you're saying about those things to yourself. What is the story you're saying? And it's like reviewing that. You're really looking at that again. What am I saying to myself? What is the story I'm telling myself? And how is that keeping me from actually having the things I want? Because what I'm telling myself is... The only way to have happiness is to have a twin flame in my life or to have true love in my life or to have a lot of money or all of those things, right? The only way. And when you're telling yourself that, you're tell also telling the universe that. The universe is going, oh, really? That's the only way? Are you sure about that? You sure about that? Because there's, for me, it's endless. It's endless. There's endless ways to happiness, endless ways to freedom, endless ways to joy. So what? how do you want to expend your days? How do you want to spend your life? How do you want to spend, how do you want, what to you feel into the happiness? This is, okay, so this is why I teach the North Node classes. And I, uh, there's another group of them coming out. Um, something that's uh, more self-paced. You can take control of it yourself. Um, the reason for that, that I do that, the reason I'm teaching that is, you know, I, listen, I'm a fire sign too. So I'm looking at this too and sharing with you. The reason I'm doing that is because it helps people open up their idea of how, because people want to know how I'm going to get there. What's the plan? How are we going to get there? And the North node says to you, this is the energy of fulfillment. And everyone goes, either you embrace it or people are like, F no, not doing that. That's crazy. Right? Mary Jo starting a YouTube channel, reading tarot when I used to work for Good Morning America. Is that crazy or not crazy? I think it's not crazy. I think it's my path. Okay? And so I'm embracing my path, just trusting the path. This is what's being asked of you is to look at 
Instead of saying, I want a lot of money, what does a lot of money represent to you? What does it mean? What is the experience you want to have? Okay, and how you can sort of understand that is being in alignment with your north node. Okay, being a north node in your astrology is the energy that will get you where you're going. It's going to break you out of old patterns, old thinking, old thinking, and into something new. Now, big change. Okay, so there's a lot of people on this planet who are resisting how the universe is showing them, hey, follow this path. Hey, do the thing, you know, do the thing I'm saying to you one step at a time and you will go the distance. The loyal heart will be attracted to you because you're on that path. It's sort of like Sound of Music. They had to like leave everything behind. All they had were their traveling clothes. I often wonder like, the Von Trapps moved to America and they became, they lived in uh, Vermont. And when they, they just were like, you know what? We have no choice because I am not going with that old ideology, that Nazi ideology. I've got to pick up everything and go. Now, what's happening here is the old world is getting blown up. Sorry about that. The old world is getting blown up. And the new is coming in. Now, on a relationship level, this says to me that being on your new path is allowing the, the true soulmate, the true twin, the true partner to come in. Because up until now, you've been holding on to an old ideology and that's not been letting them in. All right. So this is a big challenge. A big challenge. All right. So let's see where we go with this fire sign. I'm, let's see. Does this work? Yes, you can see. Okay, I'm going to do more of this. You can see the reading here. You see this, what's happening here, and the new path, right, allowing and letting go of some old mindset so that the new person can come in. There is a tower moment that is going on in the world, and instead of holding on, let go. Let go and the new can come in. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue on with this reading. The link is below for you.